Hi there, if you've been wanting to set up a HomeKit floodlight or you've been looking to purchase one and been put off by the cost, in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up a HomeKit floodlight on a budget. Hi and welcome back. My name is John from HomeKit Authority. And if you're new around here, this is a channel dedicated to HomeKit reviews, news, and tutorials. If you've not already subscribed, then hit the subscribe button, also the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. And also, if you've got a question or comment about this video, leave it in the comment section below. Similarly, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up as it helps other people find the video. And finally, anything that's included in this video, there's always links in the description below that take you to the relevant place. Now, HomeKit floodlights are something that are pretty new to the market, but you have got other options. For instance, you've got the Philips U Welcome, but that retails about 110 pound. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a HomeKit floodlight for a fraction of that cost. Now, I will show you two parts of this video. I'll first of all, show you how to set up the HomeKit floodlight, and then how to add motion and what you need in order to do that. Now, to get started, you need a few components. First of all, you need a floodlight, which is attached to a plug and this is because it will plug into a smart plug. Speaking of smart plugs, you also need one of those, and that can be a number of different HomeKit plugs, such as the IKEA Tradfree Control Outlet, or the EVE Energy. You also need possibly an extension cable depending on where you're gonna be putting the floodlight and you also need to have HomeKit already set up. Now for the motion part of things, you can use the Philips U outdoor motion sensor. You also can use security cameras such as a Circle 2 or the Netimo smart outdoor camera. So to get started, you first of all need to find a position to put your floodlight. Now I've put this on the end of my garage in order to illuminate my drive. Now you can put this in any location as long as you're within reach of a power socket. And then the next thing is to set up the smart plug. To set up the smart plug, I'm gonna assume you've not already set this up within HomeKit. Setting up within HomeKit is really simple. You simply follow the manufacturer's instructions and then follow the HomeKit setup process. This normally involves scanning a HomeKit code and then assigning this the relevant name and also the room. You then plug in the plug into the smart plug and then it's all ready to go. You simply test and you now can use Siri or you can use the Ohm app or your favorite HomeKit app to control this floodlight. Now this is all very good if you've got the floodlight set up and you just want to use it as a HomeKit floodlight to control from the app or you want to control it from Siri. But if you do want this floodlight to be activated by motion, then you do need to do a second step. Now this involves ensuring that you've got a outdoor motion sensor in place. Now you can use the Philips U, I've already said but you also can use HomeKit cameras. Now I'm using the Circle 2 to set off the floodlight on my drive when it detects motion. Now my top tip for this is make sure the, the camera or the motion sensor is only going to be set off in a certain area, that it's not facing outwards onto a busy street or it's not facing outwards into a busy area because it'll constantly then set off. But to set up the floodlight you've just set up within HomeKit with an automation, you need to open the Ohm app to get started. First of all, you go to the automation settings and then you click the plus symbol and you've got several options here. What you want is when a sensor detects something, which is the bottom one, you then select the sensor that you want to use, which in my case is the logic circle motion detection. You see, I've got a number of others that I could use, but I'm gonna use that one because that one's outside. I then click next. Then you've got these options. You've got when it detects motion. So in this case, you want the tick to be there. You also got time of day. Now I set it to only set off at nighttime. Now you can do specific times if you want to, but I've set it to only nighttime. You also can do it for where, when people are in, when, where, when nobody's at home, but I'm just going to have that off. You then click next. And this is where you choose the light that you want to use. So. I've got the one that's called Flood, and then I click Next. You then set what you want it to do. So you want it to turn on. Now this next bit is important. Turn off. You can have it never. You can have it after one minute, two minutes, 
all the way up to four hours. Now that all depends. Now I found having this turn on for one minute because it's a deterrent and it's also used for when people come home to be able to see on the drive and be able to walk to the door. So I've set that to one minute. And then once that's all done, it's all set up. You've now got a HomeKit enabled floodlight that works with motion that sits outside for a fraction of the cost of what the Philips U Welcome would cost you. So thank you very much for watching this video. It's been greatly appreciated. If you've liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got a question or a comment or something's not working for you, leave it in the comment section below and I will get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe as it's greatly appreciated as there'll be more HomeKit news, reviews and tutorials coming out. Thanks very much. I'll speak to you soon.